All right, what's going on, guys? So, I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, full mowing video like I did last time. You guys seem to really enjoy that video. So, yeah. Yeah, if you like this one, go ahead and give a thumbs up. And I'll go ahead and continue to make more. Uh, the June lawn, lawn cutting video will be coming next week. I do have a lawn cutting video. I am going to be doing, or not a lawn cutting, okay. lawn care and vlog. I'll be posting for you guys tomorrow after to go mow customer's lawn. I'll do a little point of view video at the time master. But today, we're going to feature that mower right in there. Probably haven't used it in like a month or so. And I'll use the works trimmer. I haven't used that in like a month either. And uh, yeah, everything else you see is all, everything else is in the garage um, pretty much because um, we use the, you know, with business being pretty good. Um, I, we usually cut a lot of lawns on the weekend. I just stuff everything in the garage. It's easy just to load up and go. Then I have to be toying around with getting stuff in and out of the shed. You know, once things come down, when things, when things settle down and we find a better way to uh, organize and plan our business we'll probably you know start putting things back in here but for right now you know just getting a little lazy you don't really feel like doing that you know so so anyways i'm gonna go get this mower out and go ahead and do a little bit of mowing for you so let's go let's go
right, so you can see the nice little checkerboard pattern I'm trying to create here. Um, I'm not gonna film my entire lawn. I'm just gonna film pretty much this part, but you can see cuts are really good, even though I don't know when the last time it was serviced. Cuts are really nice. I'm using a side dish charge from the newer mower, so it, it's kind of small for this one. But in some cases, it's pretty good because the shoot angles upward, which leads to a more even clipping distribution, which is pretty cool. And here's the checkerboard sort of thing. I'm trying to go. The only thing I don't like these about these front wheel drive mowers is that they slide all the time. This is from a slip and slide. It's... But you can see the lines are kind of squiggly, especially the first initial stripe right there. It's very curly and it's very skittish. Um, I mean, the cut's fine, but with the front wheel drive mowers, you know, the wheels aren't in the back. And when the wheels are in the back, it usually does a pretty good job of pushing the whole mower. But with the front wheel drive, it basically just pulls the mower and drags it along. But whenever it hits like bumps and uneven terrain, it just tends to skid. And my lawn has a lot of little bumps and uneven spots. And, you know, so um, I will have eventually have a review for the Tour Recycler series. I probably won't be reviewing that mower in particular. Well, because I guess, they, well, they really don't sell those mowers anymore. So there really isn't any point in trying to help you guys buy one in 2018 where they're no longer made. You can get them now with the um, Smart Stow, or you can get them with a Kohler engine now. Uh, Kohlers, from my experience, aren't good engines. I mean, commercial, they're good commercial engines, but the residential ones tend to explode in your face. So, I'm gonna stay away from the Kohlers. And if you are gonna look into a front wheel drive Toro mower, you probably end up having to go with either the Power Reverse or the Variable Speed Smart Stow model which has a Briggs and a uh, Stratton engine. So anyways, just wanted to do a little bit quick mowing um, and just give you a heads up of new videos that'll be coming out soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time. Bye.